Thank you for tuning in to TTV. I'm your host, Toya, and today is Herbal Tuesday. And today I am bringing you guys one of my favorite herbs, okay? And I know I say that a lot because, you know, I love herbs. What can I say? They are beautiful. You know, God's medicine, nature's medicine to us. Um, but this is one of, one of my favorites, one of the ones I use quite often and also use in a lot of the things that I make, products I make, especially anything that has to do with pain relief. So without further ado, let's jump into it because you already know what it is because of the title and that is Arnica, okay? So Arnica is a flower, which picture, I know I do that every single time y'all, every single time, I know. But Arnica is a flower, um, and what it's good for, one of the main things that it's good for is pain relief. So whether that pain is coming from bruising, whether it's coming from sprained ankle, broken bone, um, you name it. <laughs> Arnica is, works wonders for that, okay? But before, let me, I forgot my disclaimer, y'all. Y'all know I got to say this to cover my own butt. Um, but these statements have not been evaluated by the Food and Drug Administration. This product, Arnica is not intended to diagnose, treat, cure, or prevent any disease. Um, and it's not intended for use by pregnant women or nursing women. If you have medical conditions or are taking medication, consult your doctor prior to use and discontinued use and consult with your doctor if any adverse reaction occurs. So I got that out the way. Another thing I wanna get out the way is as well is um, Arnica is not to be used internally. I know I've seen peels and things like that out there before and even teas and stuff like that. Y'all, don't don't get sick, okay? It, Arnica, when you ingest it and you take amounts of it um, inside your body, it actually becomes toxic and poisonous, okay? If you were to take very, very small amounts, and when I say small amounts, I mean like one, two, that's it, <laughs> okay? So you have to dilute it to the point where it's almost non-existent. So when you see those teas and you see those peels and things like that, be very careful with it because like I said, it can be very toxic and poisonous to your body if you ingest the Arnica. So I personally never use it internally. I, I don't ingest it, I don't take it as pain relief inside. Everything that I'm bringing to you guys today is all external. Even the tea, if you were to get the tea, you can use the tea to soak the soak a cloth in, you know, where you can um, get you a towel or a wash or a, um, wash. <laughs> a towel or rag or ace bandage, something like that to soak the tea in and then wrap it around the area that is causing you the pain. But going back to the benefits of it, like I said, if you have arthritis, it works wonderful. If you have surgery, um, it's beautiful to help you with the healing process. If you have sores, bruises, bumps, anything like that, Arnica can help you. Now, the thing is, is that if you do have an open wound, whether it's a cut, sore, anything like that, you do not put Arnica directly on it. What you would do is, and I'm gonna just use my hand as an example. So let's say right here in the middle, okay, is where I have an open wound, okay? What I would do is I would take the Arnica around it okay around the wound and rub it in around the area so that you don't get it inside one because this is an alcohol base is <laughs> extract you don't you don't want to put that that's gonna sting like a dickens okay the other thing is is too is you'll put the arnica directly into your bloodstream when you do that and you don't want to do that because again too much of it can be toxic for your body which is why you only use it externally so you put it around the wound or around the area that's infected or hurt or wherever you get the pain from. That's where you put it around that area. Um, another beautiful way you can use it as well is this guy right here. I do not get promoted to sell this or anything else. This is just something that I use sometimes my own self. Especially for you women when you have that menstrual cramping and stuff. Get you some Arnicare, okay? This is what it looks like. Um, you can get it at CVS, Kroger, health food store, whatever. Um, but get you some of this. This one is water-based, so you don't need a lot of it. Just a little goes a long way. And you see it comes out kind of gel-like, okay? And then when you take it and you put it on, it goes on real nice and easy. So when you're cramping, you can rub it on your abdomen, your lower abdomen, to help with the pain. 
Um, if you have arthritis, you can put it in your joints. Rub, rub some arnica on your joints so they help that pain, okay? Um, if you want something internal to take with the arnica and you have joint pain, muscle pain, um, arthritis, stuff like that, then put the arnica on the outside and then take in some alfalfa on the inside. And that will give you a great pain relief because you're getting the outside for the arnica and then inside with the alfalfa. But arnica, again, like I said, bumps, bruises, swelling. So if you have, you know, where you sprained your ankle or something like that and it's swollen, or if you have boils, okay, it will help reduce the swelling of those boils or that sprain in your hand. It will help take the swelling down, okay? So arnica is, basically, when you think of arnica, or you think of pain, think of Arnica, okay? Arnica is there to help you with pain. That's basically, at the end of the day, that's what it's for. So, like I said, if you sprained your ankle and it hurts, then the reason a lot of times when you sprain something and it hurts is because all that fluid swells up. So you get all this fluid that comes in there to try to protect that area that you hurt. And so, to decrease the pressure of all that fluid that's around that part of your body that hurts, Arnica goes in and it helps to reduce that swelling. It helps to reduce that inflammation. And that's why it works so beautifully. Um, I do a herbal treatment. And this is the first thing we put on it. Okay? So, Arnica. Y'all, remember, you think pain, think Arnica. <laughs> okay? Um, if you do go out and you get some Arnica gel, I think this is somewhere around 8 to $10. Don't quote me on that. Um, at least that's what I think it was last time I bought it. I think I got this for like $8. Um, but it's a wonderful product. They use Arnica in it. It's the primary thing on there. Like if you look at the ingredients, Arnica. Uh, I don't see the other. Oh, here it is. Alcohol, other ingredients, alcohol, purified water, sodium hydroxide. And carb, carb, carbomer, carbomer, whatever that is. But anyway, it's very few ingredients. The primary active ingredient here in here is the arnica. And the alcohol will help it dry in and go in quick. So again, do not put it on out, uh, um, open wounds or cuts or bruises. That's open. Okay, you don't want to put it on there. And you don't take it internally. But outside of that, you have pain, this is your best friend. I'm telling you, this is your best friend. I've seen people use it. Like if you have arthritis in your hands, put some arnica in your hands and rub it, okay? It will help, okay? I cannot tell you how many people I've given arnica to or how many people I've seen use it and the shock and surprise that they have on how well it works. But arnica is your best friend for pain. Just remember that. Pain, arnica. All right, that's all I have for you guys today. I hope you got something out of it. If you did, please like, subscribe, and share because if you got something out of it, chances are someone else will as well. I love you guys and I will talk to you tomorrow.